Hello, I'm going to do the Libra Weekly Energy. And this is a general reading. going on for Libra? Who needs to hear a message this week for Libra? First out, we have Three of Wands popped out. So looking towards the future. All right, we have Three of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, King of Pentacles, the Empress, Nine of Cups, Ace of Cups. And the wheel, wow. All right. So it could be looking towards the future with a king of pentacles, with an earth sign, um, with someone with these qualities of the king of pentacles, which is somebody who is not afraid of hard work, somebody who is patient, somebody who is loyal, somebody who is reliable, somebody who is a good provider. Nine of Cups is right next to this King of Pentacles. Empress is right next to this King of Pentacles, meaning growth. Um, Empress also represents a yes card. Um, if you're single, this represents real love and romance is on its way. If you're in a relationship, this means that your relationship is going to a, heart, a deeper, deeper level, that it's the relationship that you finally wanted. Um, Ace of Cups is a new beginning in a relationship, so it could be with a current relationship, your relationship becomes deeper and stronger, or if it's a new relationship, that it's going to be a very positive one, a very lo loving one. Um, Knight of Wands, Knights represent action. Um, I feel like it's going to be very energetic, it's going to be very passionate, that there's going to be a lot of fire, a lot of sparks between the two of you. If it's a current relationship, you know, it could take some work to get to this point to where the two of you finally find that, that ground where you both see eye to eye, but it's going to be a reconnection and it's going to feel very positive. We have the wheel, so things are changing, things are turning. If you're single, you're no longer single. If you're in a, your relationship is a little rocky, that the two of you finally come together. You've got the Nine of Cups, you know, your wish card. You know, wanting this relationship to work out or wanting this new relationship to come in. There's a lot of growth. It takes a little bit of work, but there's a lot of growth. There's a lot of growing. Um, there's a future in this, the Three of Wands, that's the one that popped out. There is a future for this relationship, that this is a relationship that's in for the long haul, the long term. There's a lot of fire, there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of chemistry going on between the two of you. Because on the outside of the reading, we have the Ace of Cups and we have the Wheel. All right, Aces are new beginnings, new beginnings in a relationship. The cards took a little bit to come out, but it's definitely a very positive reading. I mean, you have the Nine of Cups there. Making your wishes and your dreams come through, come true. Page of Sword. Maybe this has been delayed a little bit. You know, maybe this maybe this hasn't happened yet cuz Page of Swords is is delayed news. Maybe this hasn't happened yet. But it's on its way. It's definitely on its way. All right. 
Queen of Wands. It could be with a Queen of Wands. Um, wands are Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Um, the Queen of Wands is somebody that's... For, I feel, just feel like there's a lot of fire. There's a lot of passion going on. Um, whatever this, this relationship is, it's very fiery and it's very passionate. <laughs> let's see. Um, let's do a, a romance angel. So it could be a fire sign that's coming in, or a, um, it could be a combination of an earth sign and a fire sign. They could be grounded but fiery and passionate. <laughs> Somebody that you can rely on, <laughs> but that is still fiery. Heart to heart conversation. So I feel like if you're already in a relationship that you have to, you know, like I said, it's going to take some work that you have to have those heart to heart conversations and work on your relationship for a little bit. Work on things a little bit to have this renewal, to have this, um, to have this reconnection. All right. And we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take, okay? So whatever those steps are, maybe there's still some work that you need to do to work on yourself, to get yourself into a better place if this hasn't happened yet. Um, making the effort to maybe put yourself out there um, to meet this person if you haven't met this person. Making the effort in a current relationship, having those heart-to-heart -heart conversations with this person to reconnect, to get your relationship back on track to where you want it to be, to have that reconnection, opening up, sharing, put, bringing those walls down. That's very important in a relationship, for a relationship to become deeper, for a relationship to become stronger. A relationship takes a lot of hard work. Um, whatever relationship that is, whether it's with a friendship or with a family or with a partnership, whatever that is, is it's important to have those conversations, let those walls down, and just see the relationship bloom and blossom and become stronger. So make the effort. I feel like that goes with that card, which is work. But there is a lot of growth for you here, okay? And you have the Nine of Cups, so keep that in mind. Always think of the positive. Look towards the future. There's a lot of fire, a lot of passion coming in your way. The wheel card, things are changing, changing, things are turning for you, things are going into a new cycle and will be much better because of the work you're putting into this relationship. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.